Today we're going to take a look at the change cloud feature within Morpheus. This is a feature that allows the reassociation of server objects to a new assigned cloud. And this can be within the same cloud type, say from one vCenter cluster to another vCenter cluster. Um, or it can be from one cloud type to a completely different cloud. Maybe if we're moving something from on-prem to the public cloud, we could use this feature uh, to help us with that situation. Now it's important to remember that this is not a migration tool. And the idea behind this feature is that I've done work to stand up an identical server in a new cloud and with Morpheus automatically inventorying workloads from my integrated clouds, I now have two server objects in Morpheus that essentially represent the same workload. So this feature allows us to handle that situ situation gracefully. But before we dig into the feature anymore, let's take a look at role permissions real quick that are associated with this. So if I open up this role, um, at the time of this recording, this is a new feature. And so um, a new permission has been added to Morpheus in order to service access to that particular feature. It's labeled infrastructure move servers, as we can see here. Now, by default, when you first upgrade, this feature is added with Morpheus 5.4.9 as well as with Morpheus 5.5.2. At the time of this recording, 5.4.9 has just come out. 5.5.2 is coming soon. So uh, users are only just now starting to have access to this feature at the time that I'm recording this. But the new feature that has been added is infrastructure move servers. And by default, this is going to come with permission set to none. So immediately on upgrade, only system administrator users are going to be able to see this feature at all. For any other users that need access to this feature, we need to go into their role permission settings. We need to set infrastructure move servers to full, and that's gonna give access to the features that we're gonna see here in just a second in this demo. So let's go back to my instances list. I've had this Apache server running for a while. It's running in uh, one of my vCenter clusters. I have two vCenter clouds that we're going to take a look at in this demo. Um, they're each targeted to different clusters within my vCenter. So I have this uh, Apache server that's been running for a while in one of my clusters. And then I also have another cluster and there's an associated cloud with that cluster. And in that second cluster, I've spun up another Apache server and that's the one that I want to use going forward. So Morpheus has onboarded that a new server as we're going to see here in a minute and so now I have two server objects that essentially represent the same thing and Morpheus allows us to handle that situation situation gracefully with the change cloud functionality so let's drill into the VM for uh, our source VM this is the first one uh, and ideally, this is going to be a managed VM. This is the one that has been running for a long time. And the target is going to be a discovered VM or one that Morpheus has just inventoried from one of our integrated clouds. So this is my managed VM. And what I wanna do is go to actions and then change cloud. And it's gonna give us this uh, warning up here. This is essentially uh, going to say what I said earlier about how we wanna be very clear that this is not a migration tool. This uh, is a tool that allows me, after having done some work on the side to stand up an identical server, this allows me to handle the duplicate server objects within Morpheus in a graceful way. So again, this little warning box is summarizing what I've already said, but just to hammer home the point, this is not a migration tool, this is uh, tool um, that serves additional functionality. So my target cloud is going to be my um, my VDC2. So as I said, I've got um, two different clouds targeting a cluster in separate VDCs. So my target cloud, this is where my workload is going to go from a cloud current one is VMware demo cluster H5 and my target is my VDC2, so I want it to go to my, my second VDC and second cluster. The source, this is uh, my server that I'm starting from. And then my target, I can choose uh, any of the inventoried ones, but let's take a look at uh, this one, the AH Apache, that's my new server, and that's the one that um, I want to replace. So what's essentially going to happen when I hit save changes here is we're going to see the cloud change um, as listed here. 
And what's nice is Morpheus is essentially going to merge the two records together. So we get to keep some things that we like about our original source server. That being, it's going to keep the same database ID within Morpheus. It's going to keep its monitoring history. It's going to keep um, tags and things of that nature. Um, but we're going to get the new cloud type from the destination um, server. Uh, and we're also going to completely blow away the other discovered server so that we no longer have duplicate server objects within Morpheus. So I hit Save Changes. And this takes only a second, but you'll see in just a moment, this cloud association is going to update. And now we see the cloud association has changed. So what do we have now with our server record? We have the cloud association with the new target cloud, which is what we wanted. We have the new name for the newer server that was discovered, which is what we wanted. But we do retain some legacy information that came from the original server. Uh, we have, uh, if, if we had tags on this server, we would retain those. We retain the monitoring history. We still have the same database ID in Morpheus that the original server had. And we completely blow away the new discovered server object. So we're combining the two things about the, uh, the two server records that we want while blowing away the duplicate. Let's also take a look at the list of virtual machines in Morpheus just to show that the additional server record has blown away. If I search for my server by name, we can see that there is no uh, server any longer associated with Morpheus that begins with AH in the original cloud. The, the vCenter demo H5 cloud. We, we no longer see that here. So the uh, we have one, one server record now where we previously had two, uh, but as I mentioned previously, it still has the original database ID and we've commingled items about those two server objects together into one to gracefully handle the situation where we have two server objects within Morpheus that represent the same workload.